supervolcano giant lava dome has been discovered growing at a South Japan island and it could release 40 cubic kilometers of magma. This has been recently discovered. Lava means that it has erupted already and the lava dome is growing. It's an underwater volcano believed to be part of a previous supervolcano of the area. We're going to discuss a supervolcano area that I didn't even know existed. There are supposedly 20 supervolcanoes around the world, but I think new ones are being found all the time. For, the, for example, in the list is not included the Germany supervolcano. And uh, we know Japan is a fantastic site of a lot of volcanoes, but uh, a lot of uh, very huge earthquakes. But this is the area that we're talking about here, the Kyushu area of a past eruption about 7,300 years ago. And uh, I knew that we had the 26,500 years ago volcano of northern, uh, the North Island of uh, New Zealand. But I didn't know this eruption uh, took place 7,300 years ago. And uh, supposedly we have a super volcanic, volcanic super eruption every 17,000 years. So this is the area that we're talking about. Now, uh, I didn't know where Iwo Jima was, but Iwo Jima is right around here, somewhere around here. I think that's it right there. And uh, as you can see, yeah, there is Iwo Jima. It, the only thing that's on there basically is a, an, um, an airport landing strip with some buildings. As you can see right there, that's it, Iwo Jima. Um, and these are, of course, uh, sea mounts and volcanic islands underneath, as you can see. These knolls. I don't know what that one is, but uh, some of them are um, above sea level. And this is the area that we're talking about now. This, this thing here. This, this area here. So now lava domes. Giant lava dome has been discovered growing inside this Japanese supervolcano and it could release 40 cubic kilometers of magma. There's a bulge that has been found of molten rock underneath. Beneath uh, the structure could be capable of triggering a super eruption like one that took place 7,300 years ago. This is according to uh, John Gabatis on The Dependent, he says. And uh, I was looking into lava domes after uh, the bulging that we recently had. Uh, well, not bulging. Yes, I guess you can call it bulging. The deformation in uh, the areas around uh, Ridgecrest and Los Angeles, Palmdale area, the Palmdale bulge that we were talking about a couple of videos back concerning that. And also deformation wherever you have uh, volcanoes is um, perhaps the fact that they're breathing. Uh, we have another deformation occurring that could cause an eruption again in Kilauea. So this is one of the bulges, one of the lava domes that has been discovered underwater. This underwater volcano south of Japan. And uh, it suggests that an enor there's an enormous buildup of magma coming in underneath. Whenever you have a buildup, there's magma, usually, unless it's hydrothermal, which is a uh, steam eruption. Now, the structure appears to be growing in size, and it was formed following the Akahoya super eruption that took place 7,300 years ago, uh, leaving a 12 mile hollow called Kikai Caldera. And the eruption is thought to have wiped out an ancient Jomon culture inhabiting southern Japan, uh, the Japanese island of Kyushu at the time. This is the island of Kyushu, the southernmost uh, big island of Japan. So that eruption caused the uh, devastation of that island, obviously. And the eruption is thought to have wiped out the uh, Jomon culture. Super eruptions, as we know, are rare, but they're 
devastating because of their uh, emission of uh, ash clouds that cover huge areas. And they can have global impacts as well due to the volcanic ash and chemicals uh, blocking up the sun, triggering the volcanic winter, causing ice ages, many ice ages. Now the researchers who made the discovery said there was a slim chance a supervolcano could again occur at this area, releasing over 10 cubic miles of magma in one explosion. What can I tell you? You know, it's, it's a, the ring of fire. Subduction zone. And we have uh, West Coast supervolcano, the Long Valley Caldera, and we also have Yellowstone supervolcano. This is what takes place here. Now, while likelihood is low, the damage of such an eruption, of course, would cause, uh, it would, that, that it would cause would uh, make understanding necessary circumstances priority for the scientists. What would happen? Now, um, Professor Yoshiyaki Tatsumi, who is the head of Kobe Ocean Bottom Exploration Center and Magma Specialists, said that although the probability of gigantic caldera eruption hitting the Japanese archipelago is 1% in the next 100 years, it's estimated that the death toll could rise to approximately 100 million in the worst case scenario. On a series of three voyages that they made in uh, 2017, the professor and his team explored the bottom of Kikai Caldera. It's a crater that forms when a volcano collapses, of course, after an eruption. And they identified a lava dome, which rises 600 meters above the seabed. So that's how they found the lava dome. They were examining the crater, that's when they found the rising lava dome. 600 meters is about 1,800 feet above the seabed. So it's like a small mountain, you know. Now, while magma refers to mult, this is, remember, well, that's what happened in Mount St. Helens. The, fir the first thing before the explosion was the expanding dome of lava. Um, so that's a sign that there's obviously magma buildup there, and that's exactly what they're having here. Now, while magma refers to the molten rock, the lava underneath the crust, lava is, of course, the magma that has reached the surface. Analysis of rocks from the dome show that it was formed by solidified lava, and the result of a far smaller eruption has taken place since Akahoya. After further study, the deformation of the dome surface showed that there is a growing chamber of magma inside it. The discovery of the lava dome does not mean the next super eruption is right around the corner, though. But a developing magma chamber could mean triggering just such an eruption, uh, according to scientists. The result of the research was published in scientific reports, and Professor Tatsumi is planning a voyage again to the site uh, in March. So they'll be using underwater robots, of course, to uh, examine what is going on there, and uh, that what resulted in the volcano's formation, and use seismic and electromagnetic uh, ground penetrating radar. I don't know what they they use all types of things now. They have a lot more things than they had 20 years ago. The technology has really increased and helped them with all this. And they will determine the existence of the size of the accumulated magma in this area. So based on what they found, the scientists want to develop a means of predicting future super eruptions of course, before they take place, if that's at all possible. That's what their aim is, of course. I'll leave links below for you for this on The Independent. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media.
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.